Yikes. You just hate to see it. Well, actually, I kind of love to see it. When companies, in particular video game companies, decide that they want a virtue signal and have it completely blow up in their face. Look, Colin Kaepernick is one of those figures that really nobody cares about. Uh, I got to be honest with you. This is a man that uh, played his way out of a starting quarterback position. Everyone talks about how Colin Kaepernick is blackballed and how you know he got the short end of the stick. Well, none of them were actually 49ers fans during the time in which Colin Kaepernick threw more interceptions than touchdowns. Uh, none of them were watching Colin Kaepernick incomplete seven-yard crossing routes over the middle. None of them were watching Colin Kaepernick lose his starting job, not to the first string or the second string, but the third string quarterback on the team. Colin Kaepernick clearly hit a wall in the NFL. That's irrefutable, statistically backed. This is not colored by modern day social justice narratives that Colin Kaepernick was basically Tom Brady, but the white man kept him down. That's never what happened. He sucked. He played his way out of a starting position. And then and only then did he suddenly care about kneeling on the sideline to get the spotlight back on himself. Now, Colin Kaepernick has done some good things here and there for his community, but by and large is a slacktivist. He received a massive contract from Nike so they could exploit his face and pretend that their shoes aren't made in Chinese sweatshops while he sits at home with hundreds of millions of dollars while the slums continue to be slums. That's who Colin Kaepernick really is. Colin Kaepernick was offered a job, offered an opportunity to come back and start for an NFL team again. Instead, he chose to wear uh, socks about calling cops pigs and wearing a Che Guevara t-shirt um, while moving the tryout because he never really wanted to return to the NFL. Colin Kaepernick, Kaepernick doesn't want to be an NFL quarterback on top of the fact he lacks the skill to be an NFL quarterback in the modern era. You want to make the argument that he could be a third string bench rider for some team? Sure, you could make that argument. But what team would want all the baggage that would come with that? This is just the reality of it. Colin Kaepernick was not blackballed for being an activist. Colin Kaepernick was blackballed because he sucked at the game and nobody wanted the circus that came with him, much like many players before him. This is proven time and time again when you have players uh, who have literally ended other people's lives, like Charles Haley or uh, Charles Haley raising his hand to his wife, all this terrible stuff. He still gets to start on NFL teams because he's a winner, because he's good at his position. Lawrence Taylor enjoyed the rock right on the sideline. He continued to start in the NFL because he was a difference maker. Colin Kaepernick sucked. He was good for two years in the NFL, and that was it. And rant. Now, Colin Kaepernick sports an 81 rating in Madden 22 despite four year absence. EA Sports and Madden NFL 22 insulted both Colin Kaepernick and football fans in a single stroke. Football fans and analysts have spent the last four years arguing that Colin Kaepernick deserves another opportunity in the NFL. EA Sports and Madden 22 are doing their best to single handedly destroy that argument. How could that be the case, you ask? Well, when EA Sports continues to include the NFC champion as a free agent in the game. By the way, this is by Jake Elman on sportscasting.ca.com. All one needs to do is look at the ratings and context to quickly realize that those who work on the NFL's only licensed video game have no respect for Kaepernick or their consumers. Kaepernick is an 81 overall in Madden NFL 22, despite not playing since 2016. Let's make something immediately clear. EA Sports' decision to include Kaepernick, who last played an NFL down January 1st, 2017, in the game isn't the issue. He hasn't officially retired, and he's worked out for teams in 2019, so isn't like the time they listed Calvin Johnson or Peyton Manning, both of whom are now pro in the Pro Football Hall of Fame as free agents. Instead, the problem is giving Kaepernick an 81 overall. For those unfamiliar with Madden ratings, players are rated on a 0-99. to 99. Five players, including co-cover athlete Patrick Mahomes, had a 99 rating when the game launched in August. Kaepernick, who hasn't played in nearly five years, is currently tied with Las Vegas veteran Derek Carr for the 14th highest rating of any quarterback in the game. Los Angeles Chargers star Justin Herbert and reigning NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year is an 80. Your eyes do not deceive you. 
According to EA Sports, Kaepernick is not only among the top half of quarterbacks in the NFL, but he's also also worthy of a higher rating than someone who had the greatest rookie season of any single signal caller in league history. Those wanting Kaepernick can do so in franchise mode, either offline or online. EA Sports has spent decades priding Madden as a realistic football simulator. It's hard to imagine that being even remotely closer true when one glances at Kaepernick's overall ratings. One is free to make the argument that Kaepernick deserves to be on a roster more than Buffalo Bills backup Mitch Trubisky or Josh Rosen, who the San Francisco 49ers recently waived. But if that's the case, Kaepernick should have a rating closer to those two, not one higher than Minnesota Vikings quarterback, starting veteran quarterback Kirk Cousins, or the Jackson Jaguars rookie Trevor Lawrence. More than anything, this appearance should be a gesture of support towards the talented quarterback who devoted his life to social justice instead of coming off as insulting. Instead of simply including Kaepernick in the game last year, EA Sports issued a press release and added a screen that congratulated the player for signing him in franchise mode. It's strange to think a game would go to such great length to promote Kaepernick, yet not include picture of rookie quarterbacks. From a logistical standpoint, why is Kaepernick in the game while Houston Texans running back Buddy Howell, a special teams ace who played 45 games in the last three years, isn't even on the game? Before EA added Kaepernick in Madden 21, he last appeared in the series of 2017 in Madden's NFL 18, and he had a 75 overall rating that year, and a 74 the year before. So how has he improved seven overall points in that span without ever playing the game. The early reviews aren't looking good for Madden 22. Update, EA Madden NFL is still the worst game of all time. Beat the 49ers 46-35 in week one, but it says I lost 35 to nothing, and now Trey Flowers is upset. So many glitches. Madden is a joke. Uh, and for fans of NFL football, it's painfully, uh, you know, the only option people have to play because of the exclusive licensing agreement Electronic Arts has with the NFL. Now we finally get, I think, NFL 2K is going to come next year. It's either this year or next year where there's going to be an actual, um, you know, an actual competitor. But of course, coming out of 2K games, which has the other sports licenses and doesn't do a great job with those either. This is all not mentioning the fact that Madden only cares about um, selling digital packs to 1% of their customers and improving the game only marginally year over year. I mean, the memes write themselves. I mean, there are many times you see stadium art uh, that have the wrong year or the wrong standings displayed or the wrong trophies displayed or just simple stuff that they clearly are reusing assets. Players hoping for a realistic experience can always lower Kaepernick's overall rating in franchise mode. Then again, those wanting something resembling what they see every Sunday likely aren't playing Madden anymore. Videos have gone already gone viral on YouTube and social media of various glitches in the game. One Reddit user posted a picture of the Washington football team's now former name showing up on a standing screen. Other Reddit users have posted images of players with gray faces. As of publication, the PlayStation 5 version of Madden 22 has a 73 Metascore rating courtesy of 10 reviews on Metacritic. The user score, however, is an astonishing low 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Now, if we go to Madden NFL 22, it is now a 0.6. Now, you spent time making sure that Colin Kaepernick was in the game. You spent time making sure to thank players for drafting him. Remember this? Remember this garbage from last year? Madden announces fans can now put Colin Kaepernick at the helm of any NFL team in franchise mode, as well as play with him and play now. Colin Kaepernick is one of the top free agents in football. Wrong. And starting caliber quarterback. Wrong. The team at EA Sports, along with millions of NFL men and NFL fans, want to see him back in our game. Wrong. We've had lo a long relationship with Colin through Madden NFL and worked through our past soundtrack mistakes. Knowing that EA Sports experiences our platforms players create, we want to make Madden NFL a place that reflects Colin's position and talent. Well, then he should be on the bench kneeling. I mean, what a ridiculous... I mean, you want to go there? You want to go there? 
Let's go to pro football reference. Okay, the last year Colin Kaepernick played, all right, he played a whopping 12 games. Pretty sure he got hurt, started 11 of them. The record for that team was 1 and 10. He won one game out of 11. He had a 59% completion rate with four interceptions and 16 touchdowns. Not terrible, but not great with a QBR of 49. Now, a QBR is on a scale of 1 to 100. Now, he did have one good year in 2012, and perhaps 2013, you could argue that the man had decent years. But even then, 21 touchdowns, 19 touchdowns. The top 15 quarterbacks in the NFL now are all 30 touchdowns plus. Um, Colin Kaepernick was a flash in the pan who was fast on his feet and quick to fall. The guy was never very good. Look at his career stats. 72 touchdowns, 30 interceptions, 28 and 30 record. Guy has a losing record of sub 60% completion rent, uh, percentage and is completely forgettable. Yet EA is taking time to give him an absurdly high rating in the game to get those sweet social justice points. I could only wonder why the game has a 0.6. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.